I would like to tell you about St Andrew's Club, who it's been helping and what it's been doing for 150 years. Over 70% of our 700 members come from a local social housing estate. Edson, can you tell us what it's like? It's hard to be general, but many who live locally are living on tight family budgets. And just like lots of other places, there are many threats facing our young people today, such as drugs, radicalisation, social media, smoking, bullying. Yeah. We do have many places that are affordable or who want young people hanging around. As you can see, we are pretty restricted. It's a great place to where you can do so much. Try out new things that we think we're not going to be good at. And the reason it's so great is not just what you can do here, but who helps and encourages you to do it. I've been coming to the club for two years now. I know them all, but I've never really asked them this question. Why did you become a youth worker at the Andrews? So I became a youth worker because when I was younger, I, I used to attend St Andrews, and the club done so much for me when I was a kid, and as a young adult, provided me with help with education, uh, courses, references, just general help to become a better person. Really. So as I grew up, I wanted to give something back to St Andrews, and I began doing youth work and football coaching, and the club continues to help me even now as I'm still developing as a coach, as a youth worker, working within the gym as you can see behind us. So the club's continually helping me as a kid into an adult. These youth workers were once members, like Amina. Amina, tell us why you became a youth worker. I became a youth worker because I was once inspired by a youth worker at St Andrews Club. And I want to pass on that inspiration uh, to future generations that carry on the cycle of inspiration. manager how much each part-time youth worker costs. Today each part-time youth worker costs £5,000 a year. These people are at the heart of what we do. They understand our members, they are mostly members themselves. Like me they want to do the best for the next generation. They're testament to the club's youth development programme and help provide the rock on which our members can stand throughout their lives. There are 14 at St Andrews, and without them, the club and its vibrant programmes will grow into a whole. Youth clubs locally are reducing their provision or even closing down. Clubs like St Andrews are now needed more than ever. Can you ensure the 
future of our youth club. Go for generosity and we will stay, maybe for the next 150 years, giving young people the role models and 